In this lesson, we are talking about categorical versus quantitative variables. So we talked a little bit in our last video about the difference between the two, but remember that categorical is a variable that tells us which category a group belongs to. Um, it might also be called nominate, uh, excuse me, nominal or qualitative. So qualitative or nominal, if you see those words or hear those words, they're really just talking about categorical data. Examples, colors of M&Ms, the highest level of education that you've completed, etc. The drawback of a categorical variable is that it's kind of challenging to analyze because we're not dealing with numbers. So we can't find the average, none of those things. So it's a little bit harder to deal with in terms of those, those things. The other, of course, is the quantitative variable. And the qual uh, quantitative is where the numbers actually act as numerical values. So typically we're recording the amount. Say if you're recording your salary, you're recording your GPA, et cetera. Um, number of siblings, property valuation, et cetera. So let's look at this list of values. Um, which one would be considered categorical and which ones would be considered quantitative? So looking at our first one, we're looking at age. And age is obviously a number. And assuming that we're just going to be finding the average age, et cetera, we're going to call this quantitative. Gender, obviously no numbers involved. That's an easy one. It's categorical. Race, again, categorical. There's no numbers involved in whether, you know, you're white or African American or Hispanic, etc. Salary, this is again a number and the number would probably be used to find the average, etc. And so that's going to be quantitative. Now I threw this last one in because it's important to understand that just because it's a number doesn't mean that it's quantitative. In this example, we have the month that's recorded where one is January, two is February, etc. Now, I wouldn't consider these quantitative because I'm not going to find the average number of month. So it's not a number that's being recorded as a numerical value, it's just a number that's being used to express a category. So this is actually categorical. So be careful for those. Now, some people like to argue and say, well, you know, age wouldn't necessarily have to be quantitative. You're right. If you wanted to create a frequency table, which we'll talk about in more detail down the road, and you wanted to say age from zero to nine and age from 10 to 19 and 20 to 29 etc and then you know record how many were in each group absolutely you could say well that's a categorical because you're looking at these specific categories most of the time however just go with your gut this is a quantitative variable unless we're told to use it in a different way here are three for you to try on your own so go ahead and try these three and then press play to check your work so for the first, we have pet preference, cat, dog, bird, or other. Obviously, this one would be a categorical variable. Medicine dosage, uh, obviously this is going to be how many milligrams or how many cc's of a certain medication. That would be a quantitative. And the last one, the birth month, again, even though we're dealing probably with numbers one through 12, it's still categorical because we're looking at how many are in January, February, etc. Next up, we're going to focus on categorical variables and we're going to talk about how we can display them.